we feed all these families, but I can't feed mine. You know, best friend died. Yeah, sorry, not my problem, that's yours. We got cereal to make. We work seven days a week. We are literally scheduled seven days a week. For any time that someone would feel sick or whatever, they want you to use your vacation days as opposed to having sick days. And again, in working excess of 120 days in a row. 400 million dollars in profit on cereal alone is not something you can walk in and tell us we're gonna give you less for. If you don't be here, you get a point. If you get a point, you can get suspended, you know what I mean? So we got no choice, you have to be here. But it's just killing us. You know, you can't even now go in there and tell them that your aunt passed away and you need a day off. that tell you to call in or use a vacation day. So in order for me to get a day off, someone else is working 16 hours. Very often, we don't even know that we have to work 16 hours until 10 minutes before it's time to go home. If you have dogs, if you have kids you have to pick up from school, if you have other obligations, I hope you have somebody to call because you have to stay. They could tell me at 1045, Heather, you're forced over, you have to stay. So then I'll work that next shift. At 6.30 a.m., I can go home. But then my regularly scheduled shift is starts at 2.30 the next day. So there's eight hours off in between and that's, uh, that according to them is plenty. They want to take our cost of living away. They want to take our vacations. They want to take our holiday pay away. They want to take away any kind of ability for new people to come in to have what we have. We're done, you know, just giving up concession by concession. We're done being bullied by a company that makes millions and millions and, you know, gives out billions of dollars in, in dividends. That direct path to full-time employment, these transitionals never saw it. Being a transitional, we pay for our health care. Our wages are different. We don't get a pension like everybody else does. There is no difference between the guy that works right next to me tomorrow or 10 years from now. There's no reason why that guy should have a lower benefit level, a lower retirement level than what I do. That's why we are striking, because we want the better pay, pension for everybody. It's not for only one group. I have this job because people like my dad that worked here before me for 34 years didn't give up stuff coming in. We're just kind of looked over, your number. We hear every day and then today they're trying to tell us we make too much money. They want to complain about what our wage is and they want to talk about what our wage is. Well, if you didn't make me work every single Saturday and Sunday, if you didn't make me work every single holiday, my annual income wouldn't be at these levels that you, you don't want to go spread around like it's a bad thing. The contract, it doesn't lend itself to future generations of sustainability here. I'm second generation, my father worked here, I'm not the only one. It's kind of a way of life and we don't want to rob that from the next generation. We've been asked about how long we're willing to fight and at the end of the day, it's gonna be one day longer than they are.